I want to find the equation of the tangent line for this function at this point, and I know an equation of a line, I can use the point-slope form. So I have y1 given to me, and I have x1 given to me, but I don't know m. Well, m, remember, is the derivative at x at 0. So let's find the derivative. Remember the quotient rule? It says take the derivative of the top, leave the bottom alone, minus take the derivative of the bottom, leave the top alone, all over the bottom squared. So if I just distribute stuff out to see what I have left here, you didn't forget to distribute that negative sign, right, 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 right. And then I get x minus 8 squared. The x's will cancel out because all my x's live in Texas. Yeehaw! Negative 8 minus negative 9, negative 17. x minus 8 squared. So remember what this is. This is the derivative function. So now, if I want to find the derivative at a particular x value, guess what? I just simply plug in that value of x, and I get negative 17 over 64. All right, here we go. Y, am I doing this calculus? Uh, minus y1, which is a negative 9 eighths slope. That's what we just found. Negative 17 over 64. X minus boop, boop, 0. So I get Y plus 9 eighths equals negative 17 over 64X. And then finally, my last step is to move negative 17 over 64X minus 9 eighths to the other side. And remember, how do we check it? How do we check it? Graph it, graph it, graph it. Here we go, let's graph it. Well, the first thing is, what do I graph? Well, graph the original equation, which was x plus nine over x minus, oops, eight, in that party. And now put the point, what's the point? Zero and negative nine eighths to make sure that it's actually on the graph, right? <laughs> that would be really bad if it wasn't there. And then we finally add our equation, which I see a negative slope, so that makes sense because at that point the line's going down. So negative 17 over 64. Be you sure your x is out here to the side. It is not um, in the denominator. And then we got to move it down to 9 eighths and looky looky there. So we have the tangent line at that one exact point, negative 9 over 8. And that's all, folks.